Santa in Training is a film that sounded really interesting. I was really looking forward to it. It got off to a really good start. And then after about 15 minutes or so, it rapidly went downhill. And I'm quite disappointed. And it also feels really dated. I was quite surprised to learn afterwards that it was only released in 2019. And that's not necessarily a bad thing in itself. But because it's really creative on the one hand and makes great use of editing... It also just doesn't feel like it's going to be that contemporary for very long. I think it's going to get dated very, very quickly. Which is a shame, or would be a shame if the film was good. So, as I said, released in 2019, this is directed by Christian Vogler and written by Yamil Piedra. And it's all about a grumpy mortal who is unknown to him, found by two elves, and then trained to be Santa. Obviously, he knows he's going to be trained as Santa, but he didn't believe in Santa. He doesn't believe in Christmas. And he is the biggest Scrooge ever. And suddenly he finds two elves in his room and they say, right, it's your turn to become the next Santa. We're going to train you. I thought that sounded really interesting because I assumed it would be kind of taking him to the North Pole, showing him the ropes, showing him, you know, the sleigh and how the reindeer magic works and how the presents are made. And I thought it would be a really lovely look at the North Pole and seeing things from Santa's perspective. He started doing assault courses in some kind of like neon strobe lighty room. It was abysmal. So the training aspect of it, first of all, was just really dull. And not what I expected, not what I hoped for. And while I was open-minded and willing to accept whatever the film presented, I just felt like they missed so many great opportunities to make this a lovely magical Christmas film. And instead, they just made it a neon riot. It was really awful. So the training aspect, rubbish. I will say, the guy they chose is this Santa, Eddie. He, despite being grumpy, I actually found him really likeable. I liked him as a character. I thought he was well acted. And credit where credit is due for the film, I did like him. I enjoyed him. I enjoyed his performance. I think his reactions were, for the most part, believable. I guess it's kind of hard to judge how somebody would react when two magical elves appear before them, but I did like his performance. I will not deny that. The other thing, or the next thing that really bugged me, are the two elves. We have two elves, Slippy and Dippy. And to begin with, I thought they'd be quite fun, but actually they're exceptionally irritating. Now, I don't think this is the... In fact, I know it's not the performances. The acting is fine. And... I have no complaints about the way the characters are acted. I hate the way they are written. Dippy is a very energetic, full of life and positivity character. And this can be done really well. For example, I watched um, shortly after this film, which I've also reviewed, a film called Santa Girl. And Michaela Witt plays a very happy-go-lucky, energetic elf in that, and she does it perfectly. But I think the way Dippy is written is that she's irritating and hard to be around she's too excitable and I do not like that um Slippy is written to be a very aggressive elf very demanding kind of like an army sergeant forcing Eddie to step up to the plate and that's unnecessary nobody wants to think of Santa's elves as being nasty and aggressive there's also another nasty character at the beginning who results in Eddie being the chosen Santa and I just think it really spoils a lot of the beauty of the Christmas magic in the North Pole and the role of Santa and I think it's I'm I'm not going to say it's damaging for children to watch it because it'll ruin the magic but it's not going to be a magical fun-filled Christmas film I think it's aggressive it's not very well developed the narrative pacing is all off there is some fun imagery in this for example we have um, near the beginning Santa gets a cup of I assume hot cocoa But instead of there being real steam from it, we have little cartoon steam rising from it. And whenever Dippy and Slippy use their magic canes, we have like cartoon effects on the screen. The film incorporates clips from other TV shows and films, um, namely Christmas TV shows and films. And I thought that was... Well, I didn't really understand why it was doing that. I didn't feel it was necessary. It doesn't really incorporate the Christmas magic. Not all of the themes the clips were Christmassy, so I felt I felt like it was pointless for this film, but it was engaging for the narrative. So that, I thought, was interesting. 
but other than that I just thought it was totally really poorly written developed apart from Eddie as a character and the inclusion of the clips that felt out of place in the film but interesting to see as a viewer wondering which clip they're going to use next and will I recognize it this film has nothing going for it it is a massive disappointment it could have been amazing if it's ever remade or there's a film with an exceptionally similar premise I'd love to watch it but this one just it didn't do anything. <laughs>